doctor in my semen there are lots of sperm but all the sperms are abnormal what is this condition this is teratospermia so hi friends welcome to origin ivf i am dr rashmi sharma today i am going to talk to you about teratospermia what is teratospermia what could be the causes and how do you treat it and how do you have a baby with the condition called teratospermia So teratospermia is abnormalities of the shape of a sperm. How does the sperm look like a normal sperm? It has a head which is oval head which contains the DNA, you know, father's DNA. And then there is a small thick neck which is also called bit piece and then there is a tail which is a uncoiled tail. Okay? That is the normal structure of the sperm. So if there are abnormalities in the sperm structures there could be head abnormalities there could be neck abnormalities there could be tail abnormalities sometimes there are double head sometimes there are pin head sometimes there is globozoospermia sometimes you know the tail is coiled sometimes the tail is small sometimes they are defect in the mid piece so these are called as structure defects of the sperm so if a sperm structure is defective of course that sperm cannot lead to a pregnancy how do you examine for the sperm shape so i would say that normally the general laboratories do not know how to examine for the sperm shape so whenever we get a report from a general pathology laboratory where 60% sperms are normal or 70% sperms are normal we know that they have not checked for the sperm shape sperm shape checking is according to the kruger's strict criteria as per the who 6th edition right so and as for the who even if just 4% of the sperms are normal in your sample it is supposed to be normal we, we are not aiming for 40% normal or 60% normal just 4% normal shaped sperms in your semen is absolutely normal how do we examine that so there is a proper staining involved and you know once we stain the semen then at least 200 sperms are evaluated or analyzed and out of those 200 then we see how many percentages are normal or abnormal and we also try to classify whether it's a head defect or neck defect or tail defect though it really doesn't matter because if the sperm shape is defective means it is defective what can cause teratospermia they could be lifestyle factors like alcohol smoking pesticides your adulterated food pollution they could be genetic factors over which you have no control at all and there could be some local testicular factors like infections like varicocele so these are some of the causes of teratospermia most of the time teratospermia meaning abnormal shape of the sperm is associated with the other abnormalities of the semen like low sperm count or oligospermia like low motility of the sperm like asthenospermia so some most of the time it's not just the abnormal shape the count is also less the motility is also less but there may be a very rare case which is an isolated teratospermia meaning the count is normal the motility is normal but it's just the shape which is very abnormal how do you treat so if we are dealing with a combined case means the sperm count is also less motility is also less and the shape is also abnormal right the straight away it is a case for ivf icsi or test tube baby intracytoplasmic sperm injection wherein we take eggs from the female and we choose one sperm normal looking sperm and inject sperm into each egg so with this wonderful technology of icsi which is intracytoplasmic sperm injection only one sperm is needed for one egg so if even if there are just 1% normal sperm in your semen we can get if there are 10 eggs we just need 10 normal sperm that is the beauty of ICSI, right? If it is a case of isolated teratospermia, isolated meaning the count and motility is normal and it's just the shape which is abnormal and there are, you know, like 1%, 2% abnormal sperm. In that case, even IUI may be tried as per the latest meta-analysis and review. It says that even IUI can work in such cases. So you may try two or three IUIs. If that fails, then in that case, you are going to need IVF ICSI right so you have to go and see a fertility specialist and of course you have to improve your lifestyle we cannot forget that if you are taking too much of alcohol please stop that if you are taking doing smoking please stop that try to have a good diet a healthy lifestyle that is definitely going to help you